G'day and welcome back. I'm going to show you something that I wish someone showed me a lot earlier with Onshape and that is the use of scripts. Now I came across these scripts when I wanted to make a, an aerofoil and I found it was quite tedious to make something uh, that actually works very quickly or works well. Uh, and so I did a bit of research and I found that you can actually run scripts. Scripts are essentially automated uh, lines of code that allow you to make complex things relatively quickly. And, and I found there was quite a few scripts that were around for Aerofoils. So I'm gonna show you how to actually uh, find them, how to download them and use them, um, and then very quickly how to use Aerofoil one in this video. So where you find these scripts, they're on the internet, people can create their own, you can find them through Onshape, but I'm gonna show you some of the most popular ones um, and where you can find these. This is from GitHub and some awesome feature scripts on Onshape and I'll share the link uh, below as well. So if you're doing some joinery or you're creating gears and axles, these scripts are gonna make your life a lot easier, a lot quicker, um, and you can get some really comprehensive Onshape components using these scripts. So I'm gonna find the Aerofoil one. Oh, I'll go back. Control find Aerofoil. And I'll go to the next one because I've used the next one. So we're going to go to this airfoil, click on this one. And this is a script someone has created where you can then uh, create your very own airfoil. And what can you do with this airfoil? You can then make wings, hydroplaning wings. You can make all sorts of things. So there's a few applications that they also show you how they've ended up using this airfoil, which I think is pretty cool as well. Um, but I'll show you how we actually include that into our own on shape as well. So now that I've opened this document, I'm going to make a copy. So that it now becomes, becomes one of my documents. And so that when I come over here into my uh, scripts example document, I'm going to go up to here on the top right hand corner and click on that plus button up there. And I'm going to go to my on shape to find different scripts. Now, this is the one that we made a copy of a bit earlier. Yep, I made a copy of it a bit earlier, but it's the same one you can see by that. And it shows you all the scripts that were included using uh, by this document or in that document. In order for us to now use it in our own document, we just need to select this to be on. And all of a sudden you can see the profile generator for this airfoil is included up here. I'll close that. And all of a sudden we can use this script. Now this particular one requires us to have plane and point. So we need to select a plane and we need to have two points. So obviously if we need two points, we need to create a sketch and I'll show you how we do that. We'll sketch onto the right plane. I'll just go front on. We're actually gonna select, create two points. I'll just go like this. Actually, I might go the other way. And I'm just gonna make this the midpoint. So I'll click on the midpoint tool click on the line, put it in the middle. And I'm just gonna also dimension the angle between the line, the horizontal line and our uh, line. So I'll go 20 degrees, awesome. All right, so I've got two points that I can now select and I've also got a plane that I can select as well. So I'll click on this profile generator. I will click on the plane, which is our right plane. I'll click on the two points and hopefully it creates an aerofoil for us. We can change the angle or the direction, the flip. We might have to change it so that it is uh, facing the other way, but you get the idea pretty quickly. Obviously the angle of attack for this object would have to be rotated up, but in terms of creating an aerofoil relatively quickly, this is how I think we should be doing it, the, or the easiest way to create one anyway. From here, you can also change the aerofoil we're using. So different aeroplanes, have different aerofoils depending if they're quick, slow, looking for top speed, acceleration, maneuverability. There are also some um, hydrofoils as well. There's a huge number of them. I've no, no idea about which one's which, but if you select different ones, you'll get a different profile for that particular aerofoil. Something to play around with, maybe something to experiment with as well. Once you click select, your sketch will be complete, and obviously you can extrude uh, faces from there. If you would have then, uh, if you wanted to have a taper, that's where you then need to create 
second planes, third planes, and so forth, and changing the dimensions of each as well. And that change of dimension can be done simply by changing the length of that original line. Something to think about, something to experiment with. I might create another video of that later on. Hopefully that gets you started with this script. Remember, the, I, will share, I will share with you um, a list of scripts as well from the GitHub website, and maybe you can experiment with some of those other ones as well. Good luck.